Okay, so let's just think of some final things that make a really, really exceptional methodology. I mentioned in my previous video, keywords. Make sure you constantly say, is it primary, is it secondary, is it quantitative, is it qualitative? Another thing that makes a really exceptional piece is some different methods, yeah, some slightly original things. So if there's something that you can think that's a little bit def different, use that, you'll get marks for it. Things like an oral history where you just ask people how it's changed over the time, um, probably want to ask older people at a residence, that's different from what everyone else is going to do. A perception profile, also quite a different method, can be done really simply by just asking people to say the first three words that sum up the area. You can get a really nice idea. Um, sampling techniques, that will help you if you talk about the way that you've sampled. So sampling techniques and sampling te uh, sizes, that will get you a really good mark. Taking photos of you actually doing the field work and referencing those in your work, that's really going to help. Um, a balance between primary and secondary, so you've got even number of primary, even number of secondary, that's going to make you have an exceptional piece. Thinking about what the advantages and disadvantages of each method will be, and that can be done in advance, but also once you've done them, reflecting on it and thinking, oh, well, that didn't work well because, or that did work well because, I would have done it differently in the future, that sort of thing is really going to help, and it will help you with section five of the control assessment, which is your evaluation. And also using maps and locating um, where you've done the field work on the map. It starts to get towards the idea of using GIS and that's going to get you some really good extra marks. So they're my top tips on how to get the highest marks in the controlled assessment. But you also need to watch the background video to know the basics that you need to do.